Okay, we're doing another uh, west mission. The swindler, that's what he is. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? Did you know that I, I don't give a Seth shit? comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, Stop fucking you have around. the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but Get before your shit we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Of course it is. What else is there? Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So let's sell some more of these cures. <coughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no, the sport of kings, racing, my friend, the sport of kings, a noble activity without reproach, exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. I better not have to drive again, I'm getting so tired of it. I gotta do everything. Now, sir, to the yak tooth breach. Oh, not this time. I get to ride in the shoddy. And I can skip this goddamn cutscene. Oh, man. A lot of time wasting driving from point A to point B. But it's gotta be done sometimes. Whatever gets the job done is what I'm concerned about. I guess it's a race, a chariot race. That's pretty, that's, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Drivers, y'all know the rules, but for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the fester cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. That'd be fun to just right shoot the now, guys. The three. But I think that'll disqualify me. Let's kick these guys' asses now. And I gotta, I gotta finish it first. Let's see how well this thing handles. To be able to decide if it's easier or it's not. Yeah. I thought this was right. Now try to keep up. Are you even trying? Third place. Gotta make one hella pass, whipping the horse. Nice. I got the lead now, bitches. Damn, this thing turns great. Sharp ass corners.
Whoa, shit. That's the Wild West version of a drift right there. <laughs> Just drifting around these corners. Shit, I'm just whooping these guys. The distance between first and second is massive. Oh, fuck. Get back on track. I'm not losing this race. Although, I don't know if that's possible at this point. Considering how much ass I'm kicking right now. How much longer is this race? I'm just wondering if those guys should give up. Almost there, I can see the finish line on my map. There it is, push it, whip this horse, whip. That's all it takes. That was fucking easy. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. Wes Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. That was pretty fun. Fine, best remove ourselves. Huh. I if we could do that as a side mission, just races. I'm sure you can. Oh no! Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Uh, Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? A prostitute? Then you can at least get laid. But I'm Irish, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> 